So my baby Rowan is almost a year old. What? What on earth? That is absolutely wild to me. But I wanted to make this video to kind of go through some of the things that have been useful to us as parents. I've talked a lot about postpartum and breastfeeding and some things that I bought that were helpful with those things, but this realm is gonna be a bit more baby specific. Things for the baby. And I say essentials because I'm using that term for the YouTube SEO and that's what all of us anxious new mums are like searching on YouTube. Like I was there like newborn baby essentials, please help me, what do I need, oh my God. But I don't actually believe any of these things are essential. Okay, maybe one of them. But what they have done for us is make parenting a hell of a lot easier. You can absolutely raise a wonderful, happy baby without any of these things. They just made <laughs> parenting a lot easier for us. And everyone will have different things. Goes without saying, every baby is different. And every family is different, so your needs will not be the same as mine. But I just wanted to share the things that worked for us, some personal recommendations, and you can take it or leave it. So I'm splitting this up into three categories. Newborn, because that's a whole beast in itself, and then six months plus, because suddenly things start happening at six months, like food and sitting up, which change the game <laughs> entirely. And then a category that's all, like these are things that have helped us throughout the entirety of this last year. So without further ado, let's start with the newborn things that we don't use anymore, like this sleepy head. This is gonna be controversial, there's gonna be people in the comments saying that it's not safe to leave your baby in one of these unattended. Like, every time Rowan was asleep in one of these, we were watching him. He never slept in one overnight, it was for naps, and we were always there with our eyes and ears on him. This was just so handy. He's never been a great sleeper, but he would sleep really well for naps in this. And then also, in the evenings, when he was a little baby, I would go to bed early and Dan would have him asleep on his lap like this whilst he played <laughs> video games and it meant that like I got some sleep because those first few months it was rough. But the thing with this is that he outgrew it fairly quickly and I don't think we were using it after like three months or something but we still have it because useful. Where do we put it though? The other thing that I've mentioned so many times in videos before is my maternity pillow. This was so handy for breastfeeding and also just like having him nap on me and laying him across me. Again, it's so bulky, but this was just so good during pregnancy and those first few months of the baby. I'm not sure where it's gonna go once we turn this room into Rowan's room, but oh, I love you. And then I only have one more thing left in the newborn <laughs> section. And I don't know whether that's because newborns just don't need a lot of stuff. Like, have you got clothes for them? Have you got nappies? Like, great, done, you did it. <laughs> Those are the essentials. All the reason why this list is so small is because I don't remember. I don't remember it and it wasn't even that long ago and my brain has like blocked out so much of it. I was like, what were we doing? What did we use? What did we do? These are actually things that we don't use anymore. There are some things that we used in the newborn phase that will be in the like, whole year section. But the other thing that I really wanted to mention now, even though it does continue to be useful, but was especially good for us to do in the newborn phase, and that was a baby first aid course. Dan and I went on one together when he was still on paternity leave, so Rowan was like under six weeks old, and it was <laughs> intense. It was quite scary and stressful, but it really was helpful in equipping us with the knowledge of like what to do if our baby were to choke or stop breathing. And that is just something that you do not even wanna think about, but sometimes the fear of it and, and knowing that you don't know what to do is more terrifying than like the fear of it. But you're like, okay, I have a like somewhat of an idea of what to do, hopefully. So that, that is my one thing that I would actually call like an essential. It really put us at ease and I feel capable. Obviously who knows what would happen if that situation were to actually arise, but I feel a lot calmer about it than I would if I hadn't gone on that course. 
and honestly anything to relieve parenting anxiety win knowledge is power folks knowledge is power okay next up are the things that became useful after rowan turned about six months old first up super basic but oh my goodness dribble bibs never even heard of these before i always thought that bibs were just like the plastic things to stop food getting on a baby no they dribble so much and every baby will be different but our baby just started dribbling so much around six months and so we just have so many of these it's gotten a bit better now and then when he was teething it was like insane we were getting through like three or four of these a day they would be soaked thank you dribble bibs and i personally am a big fan of the uh, bandana style the triangle style as you can tell big fan rowan grew out of his baby bath around the same time that he started being able to sit up more consistently so now we just bath him in the main bath but we bought one of these grippy bath mat things to give us a little peace of mind so he's not slipping all over the place also here in the bathroom we don't actually use these in the bathroom this is just where they hang up to dry bibbidoo bibs bibido bibs whatever that brand is they're these massive bibs and oh my god they are so good for food we originally bought a long sleeved one and regret that short sleeved all the way so we now have three short sleeved ones their little arms go through you wrap it around their neck and then this bit as you can see that elastic goes under their like food tray table so the tray and then them everything is like covered by the bib it just makes meal times so much easier in terms of mess the reason why we find the short sleeves better than the long sleeves just in case anyone's in the market for one of these and doesn't know which to get we personally prefer the shorter sleeves because it's easier to like clean his hand and arm and the way that the long sleeve work is that it's like elasticated around his wrist and so just like so much food just like gets stuck and like caught up in there whereas with the short sleeve yeah he might get some on his arms and hands but that's much easier to clean than on the long sleeve and they're so cute look this one's got some bears riding bicycles this one's all space themed and then this one's all I don't know, like nature, woodland themed. There's also groovy cactus on there. This mat. Every time I just happen to be taking photos in this room and this mat appears on my Instagram stories, I always get DMs from people being like, what is it? Where is it from? That looks amazing. You'd be right. It is quite expensive though, but I'm so glad we splurged on this. It is so worth it. It's from this company called Maple and Wild and it's called a foldy mat. Essentially because it just like all folds up. But this is so handy for us once Rowan was like a bit more on the move. He would just be like rolling into the arches of his play mat and getting all tangled up and frustrated. And I was like, this just isn't working. And also now that he's like loads on the move, but even, even before that when he was just like a little bit of movement here and there, so useful just to have this space for him. And then the other thing that I bought at around the same time that honestly, I wish I'd have bought sooner. I wish I'd bought this combo way sooner because we could have retired the play mat much earlier and moved to this kind of system. But essentially I got this wooden play arch. Essentially I could just, you know, move this around depending on where he is on the mat or if he'd like rolled away and was interested in playing something else. And it's like really easy just to like move it so it's not in his way so i actually bought this for him when he was about five six months old and it was really useful for a little while but i actually probably would if i was doing it again buy this much earlier like even from the beginning you could have this whole setup for a newborn and that would be absolutely fine the mat is still extremely useful this we don't use anymore this had a very short shelf life but i wish that I'd had it earlier. So those are all of the things that specifically we got around the six month mark or were useful to us post six months. Now onto some of the things that have been useful for this entire first year of parenting. 
This is my baby carrier, which has been so useful. We also have a sling, but I can't find it right now. But Dan mainly uses the sling, which is like a fabric thing. And then I much prefer this. So, you know, whatever floats your boat, but would recommend going to a sling library if there's one near you to help kind of like figure out what works best for you and you can rent slings and carriers and stuff from them. I absolutely love this. He is huge. He's almost a year old and so heavy and I'm still able to carry him around in this and I'm not completely broken. <laughs> like this is so handy for short trips, for needing my arms free, but then also he's able to nap in this. If I like walk around a bit and then he can have a little nap and then I can like back down into the sofa, sit down, unclip myself, whoosh, lovely contact nap, so great. Yeah, because these days the contact naps aren't as often, but I can still do them with this. A nightlight, so useful. I found it really difficult to find one of these that was just the light and wasn't also taking the temperature of the room and also didn't have a clock on it. Like all I wanted was the light, but I found one. And if I can remember where I got it from, I will link it in case you're also after a similar thing. It's mega simple, sort of the on off job and then also like making it brighter or darker. But this is so handy. So like in the middle of the night with breastfeeding and needing to be able to see just slightly but without waking up Dan. And also anytime we go traveling and we do an overnight stay somewhere else, this always, always comes with us. So we can have some overnight light because you never know what the lighting situation is going to be in the room you're staying in. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? This is Rowan's high chair where he eats his meals, but obviously he wasn't eating meals when he was a baby. So this is kind of like how we use it now. It's a hawk high chair. Before he was sitting up and eating, we had him in his bouncer on it. So there's a bouncer attachment to this that can be used as a normal bouncer or can go on top of this. And that was great because it meant that he could be like at our level for meal times and it's just like a three in one situation. And now this just like works really well as a high chair. It is quite bulky. It does take up a lot of space and we do have a very small flat. That's probably its only downside really. But other than that, we love this. And it worked really well at the beginning as well and is still useful now, so win. Down here is where we keep a bunch of reusable wipes. And these are just so useful. Some people use these for nappy changes. I haven't been that brave. <laughs> Although I guess if it's just we, I could. I guess I just haven't got into the habit of it. And we've only got so many, so they tend to all just get used up at meal times now with like cleaning his hands and face. I much prefer just using these and water on his hands and face than constantly like wiping him down with wipes. So very simple. I think my granny got us these from Boots. The next thing is this Mamas and Papas activity seat that I got secondhand on Facebook Marketplace. And this was super handy, albeit only for a short amount of time. However, it was worth it, even though it was only relevant for a little bit of time. But this was when he started sitting up but not completely consistently. And then also got bored, like being laid down, but I needed somewhere to put him where he wouldn't be able to escape, wouldn't be able to move because I was showering. And he'd gotten too big for his bouncer. And one time like fully just like the bouncer toppled over with him in it. Not great. And so that's where this thing came in. And it was so handy and he loved it so much. But then he also started to be able to escape from this and just wanted to be a lot more on the move. So maybe this was like useful for like a month or two, but still so good. And also he still plays with this. So even though we don't pop him in this bit anymore, he loves this, loves this. So our seat doesn't have this, but some of them come with straps. So you can strap this seat to a chair and then your baby can be like sat at the table with you eating. Cause it's got this like, it as well so it can be like a sitting place for them to eat food so multiple use but now it's just gathering dust <laughs> also he would be able to pull this thing off and how did he do that because i can't even pull it off there we go and here is the aforementioned bouncer we never actually used this newborn insert bit for him because he was a massive baby so he went just straight into here and it could be used as a bouncer bouncer 
or on that high chair. I think I've mentioned this before, but another absolute essential for me this entire past year has been community and other parents at the same stage as me or around that stage with kids similar age and just being able to talk and vent and hang out it has just been such a lifeline and for me that was my nct group and then other mums i've met doing like various activities we've got our whatsapp group that is still like almost a year on where we all go to like talk to each other and ask questions and vent and all of that stuff and that has just been so useful to me practically in terms of some of like the tips and advice and just like weird little bits of info of like questions that you have you're like what temperature what tog sleeping bag like all of that weird stuff but then also just like the emotional support and just like knowing that you know other people are going through the same thing and we can all like support each other and cheer each other on the next two things i don't have with me right now because they're with rowan at his child minders so cut to later this evening so this star wrap is another one of our essentials <laughs> um my mum got it him slash us for christmas and oh my god in the cold winter months it's been so handy just to shove him in this instead of like a pram suit with a zip and everything this was recommended by one of my patrons and such a good recommendation. Thank you. We love the star app. Rowan is in a large, as you can see, it's huge. It's too big for him, um, but it doesn't really matter. Ah, do you want to tell them how much you love your star wrap? And he just looks so cute. Like a little carrot or a giant carrot even. Look at this giant carrot. And then the other thing is this buggy organizer or buggy bag or whatever and i did buy like a big backpack nappy bag for him which i used at the beginning and we still use to pack up all of his stuff when we go for like a weekend away but it just was so big and actually i didn't need all of that space and because our buggy is so small what was happening was it was like tipping it over sometimes oh you don't want that that's quite scary but this is excellent because it does like a whole day out we just have in it wipes mat nappies change of clothes that's it done it all fits in and it's super small and it's got like a big long strap so that when i go off to like a changing room or something with him i can wear it as a big long bag do you want to push the buggy go so those are all of my newborn slash under one year old baby essentials I hope that you enjoyed this video. Are you a parent of a baby around a similar age? Do you use any of these things? Were they useful? What did you use in that first year of parenting that really, really helped you out? Are you expecting, and you're watching this, to get some hot tips? I hope that this was useful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.